Hello, everybody. I'm George Kenner, and I'm a laser addict, and I think I need another intervention. Years ago, I started with diode lasers, moved up to a CO2. I have a fiber laser and another Eon Supernova, which has both the RF and the glass CO2 tube on the way in. But I got addicted to UV lasers. I realized that when I started my YouTube channel, I started at the very basics of doing my research. I decided what I would do is put together a short video of the UV laser and then show you even the one that I'm considering. I hope that it does some good. There'll be a little message for you at the end. Let's look at the UV lasers based loosely upon the EMP laser I am considering purchasing. UV of course means ultraviolet. The potential applications for these machines include engraving materials like highly reflective metals, microchip, and chip substrates. The machine is capable of applying images and lettering that can only be seen under a microscope. Speaking using industry standards, ultraviolet markers can handle more materials than fiber and CO2 markers combined. Why is that? It is the wavelength of the laser light that determines which materials the marker can handle. As an example, the EMP has a wavelength of 355 nanometers, and this range is perfect for processing most metals as well as almost all non-metallic materials, wood, any glass, plastic, stone, and ceramics, leather, and many textile surfaces are also easily marked. The wavelength not only facilitates many materials, it also has a small spot or beam size. The small spot size allows for more precision and enhances how delicately it can engrave. To explain this as simply as possible, the longer the wavelength of the laser, the larger the minimum diameter of the laser spot. For example, if the spot diameter of a CO2 laser is 1, the fiber laser will have a spot diameter of 0.1, and the UV laser will have a spot diameter of 0.0355. In practical work, this means that even given the lower power, the UV laser works very efficiently as the entire power is concentrated over a much smaller area than with other types of lasers. Using the proper settings, the UV laser does not overheat or distort the metal. This same principle also applies to non-metallic materials. UV can mark and cut paper without carbonization in the form of smoke. Currently, what we believe is the most productive use of UV lasers in the personalization engraving industry is the use on glass. It can be very lucrative putting logos or names on beer pints and wine glasses. Let's get a little more technical about engraving glass. Since marking glass with a laser means creating micro explosions on the surface of the material. The UV marker can make highly detailed, precise markings with a controlled impact force thanks to its small heat-affected zone. And an impact area 30 times smaller than that of a CO2 laser. In practical engraver language, this means take the glass out of the box and put it right back in the box engraved. No cleanup required. The magic of UV is not limited to glass and metals. Many composites, resins, and ceramic-based substrates can also be marked. When it comes to plastics, the UV laser marking machine is not only equal to other types of lasers, but surpasses them because it can mark the most challenging materials without destroying their structure. UV markers are well suited to create circuits and highlighting complete. At 10 watt strength and more, the laser can even pierce PCBs and create pockets for embedding microchips. UV laser manufacturers 
are different utilizing various specifications and components. It's always best to discuss the exact machine specs with the company. That's not just what I suggest, but what all professional laser consultants recommend. Technology isn't just on a march, it's in a race forward, offering more and more options. And, you know, prices are getting more reasonable too. This may amaze you, but UV lasers are designed to work non-stop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. This marker is built to withstand such loads for controlling the laser marker. Many UV lasers are supported by Lightburn software, which I, which I, I consider the best laser software on the market. It supports my CO2 and fiber lasers as well. In summary, high working speed, small laser beam diameter, and no thermal effects on materials are the reasons why UV lasers are preferred over other laser markers. Match that with the number of additional products that can be engraved, including glass, and you'll understand why UV is not only being added to professional engraving shops, but also why some people are making their very first laser purchase a UV laser. If you found this information valuable, I'd like to invite you to join the Laser Freedom Facebook group. You can get quick answers, contact me there. All of my contact points are also down in the description of the video. If you like the way I do things, please give the video a thumbs up. There are a lot of people coming into this industry and this hobby, and they're looking for just basic information. If I can help them, please send them my way. I wish you all the best. Cheers.